salary here in the United States. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie and today i will be sharing with you some of the advantages of teaching in the united States. in my last video i shared with you things you need to get a teaching job in the united states a link is in the description below share this video with other teachers and subscribe for further details in the united states most of the schools are technology driven and i say most not all meaning our students are privileged to have their own one-on-one -on -one devices whether it be laptops or tablets or chromebooks students use these devices in class as well as at home and this makes it a lot easier for both students and teachers also in the classroom there are interactive whiteboards smart boards are some we call clear gel boards. All these boards are beneficial in our lesson delivery. Additionally, resources such as supplies are available for students and teachers. School districts offer their teachers a supplies check at the beginning of each school year, which teachers use to purchase supplies for their classrooms. Supplies checks range from two $150 to $300. In addition to the supplies check that the teachers receive, the school also provide a budget where teachers can make a list of things that they need for their classrooms, send that list in and the supplies are provided. So resources, very good. I know in Jamaica, teachers usually find it real difficult in writing their lesson plans and not all, but we know the rigor of writing our lesson plans. In the United States, most schools, they adopt curriculums which already provide lesson plans for teachers. For example, the lesson plans come with word for word instructions as to what the teacher is to say, what she's to ask her students. So you are still required to write a lesson plan, but it is not as tedious as starting to write a plan from the initial stage. Grading has become so diverse that some districts, once the teachers assign tasks to their students, these grades are automatically transferred into PowerSchool. So PowerSchool is a grading system that teachers enter their students' grades in. Some school districts, you don't need to manually enter those grades in. What the teachers do, once they assign those online tasks, those online softwares are connected to PowerSchool and so the grades are transferred to PowerSchool. Also, the printing of those report cards are not done by the teachers. The guidance counselors are responsible for printing report cards. Teachers sign off on them and they are sent out. So, saving you the stress of sitting down and writing a report card for every single 20 or 25 students in your class. Once your children go to a public school, that education is free of cost. Also, some school districts offer free lunch and breakfast every day. Additionally, your children can use the school's transportation, which is the school bus, to take them to and from school. It's your choice. Salary. Salary in the United States, when compared to Jamaica, it's more than what we take home on a monthly basis. Now, there are some pros and cons to that, so we have to be very careful when we say more because we know the value of the money is going to be more. But then, as teachers, you have to be smart and know how to budget your money. Cost of living varies depending on the state and the area in which you are teaching. If you're not careful, then you might not see the benefit in the salary. But there's no doubt about it that you can live comfortably on your teacher's salary and save too. Also, there are means to know how much you will be paid before you get here. 
For example, school districts use a salary scale. These salary scales are usually found online. They're usually public documents. And as a teacher, depending on the years of experience that you possess, you can assume the figure that you will be receiving. So guys, if you have a question, go ahead and put those in the comment and I'm sure to answer them. So this is one example of the smart boards that we use. And this one is called Clear Touch. It's interactive and teachers are also given a laptop and they are expected to use that laptop to create their lesson plans and complete whatever documents they need to complete. So for example, here's my laptop. And if you look at the clear touch, it's projected on the screen. So this is a curriculum that some school districts use. My school district used this one also. It's called Journeys and it comes with the different books. But I want to show you what I mean by the lesson planning. So for example, on a day we're doing phonics and the topic is long vowel O. If you look closely where it says phonemic awareness warm up, it says, I'll say a word, you say the sounds you hear in the word, and then name the vowel sound. So basically, the teacher is going to say that. So this book is basically telling you what you, the teacher, should say and what the, t the children's responses should be. Okay, it tells what the teacher should model right there and then the guided practice what the kids should be doing and all. Okay, so here's an example of a, a salary scale. And I just went in Google and researched salary scale and the school district came up. So as I say, it's public information. And if you're offered a job here in a school district, you can always research that school district and, see, and have an idea of what your salary will be. So it says right here, if you have two years experience, that means you're earning $171 daily and an annual salary of $32,000. But if you go further, you can look at the number of experience and the amount you'll be getting annually. If you would like to learn more about teaching in the United States, Go ahead and touch that subscribe button, like this video, share with a teacher, and stay tuned.